When you first open Microsoft Access, this is the screen that you're going to have. And um, it's basically letting you decide whether you want to create a new blank database or whether you want to create a database from a template that's provided. And we're going to go ahead in this tutorial and create a new blank database. So to do so, go ahead and click where it says blank database. And then over here to the right is where you're going to name and save your database. When you first create your Access database, it's going to have you automatically save it as soon as it's created. So go ahead and choose a file name, and it's going to give you a default file name. If this is your first database, it'll probably be database one. Go ahead and select just that first part, and go ahead and name your database. And notice the file extension is .accdb, and that just stands for Access Database, and that's the file extension that all the databases are going to use with Access 2007. Now, it'll automatically say where it's going to save this at, down underneath where you're naming it. If you would like to change that, go ahead and click on this file folder, and then simply browse, click to where you want to save it, and then click OK. So when you have it named and saved in the place where you'd like to save it, go ahead and click Create. And it's going to create your Access database. And here you see the Access window, and you have a new database created.